There are about 7.5 billion people on the planet, and we as human beings are constantly interacting and sharing our planet with everything around us. We are exposed to all kinds of elements because everything that exists is made of chemical elements. There are 118 known chemical elements, but only 28 elements are needed by living organisms. Those 28 elements are called the elements of life. One of those elements of life that are essential for human beings is selenium. When selenium was discovered, it was considered incredibly toxic for humans. And in part, this is true. You can poison yourself with selenium, but you need it to live. So the average human body contains around 20 milligrams of selenium, which is incorporated through diet. And uh, the cellular machinery necessary for incorporating selenium into biological molecules is incredibly complex. And the energetic cost of said incorporation is enormous compared to all other elements. But what is selenium doing inside our body? Selenium has been implicated in protecting humans from cancer. But how so? Selenium forms part of a selenocysteine, which is an amino acid. And amino acids, they become together to form proteins. And proteins that have a specific function are called enzymes. And enzymes that have that selenocysteine are called selenoenzymes. And selenoenzymes are important because they protect the cells against toxic oxygen species. Basically, they protect the cells from damage. So inhibition of these selenoenzymes can be lethal. But is it possible to inhibit selenoenzymes? As I said before, humans are exposed to all kinds of elements. One of those elements is mercury. Mercury compounds are one of the most toxic elements on the planet. And these compounds can inhibit uh, the activity of selenoenzymes. By using X-ray absorption spectroscopy, I'm shedding light on the selenium-mercury interaction to understand the inhibition of the activity of these selenoenzymes and to explain somehow the impact of the toxicity of mercury compounds in human health. Basically, this work will contribute to the knowledge of toxicity of heavy elements and the importance in public health. Thank you.